Hey Lakeland students, staff, and faculty. My name is Jenny Tank and I am your on-campus yoga instructor. Today we are going to practice a yoga flow that is to help with anxiety. I do want to preface that this yoga class does not take the place of any um, therapy or any other type of assistance that you might need if you're dealing with anxiety. If it is something that you need extra assistance with, know that we are here to help and reach out to the Lakeland Counseling Center um, to check out all the different services that we have available for you as students of Lakeland University. So we're going to get started in a child's pose. This will be a slower paced class. No yoga mat or yoga experience is required and we'll get started right away. Go ahead and allow the big toes to come together to touch. And we're gonna start with the knees together and just gently walk the hands forward, allow the spine to gently curve over the tops of the thighs. The forehead might touch the ground. Instead of reaching the hands forward, if this doesn't feel comfortable on the shoulders, you can even take the hands back and just gently relax the shoulders down and breathe. This is one option for a child's pose, really connecting to the earth and breathing in the back body. If that feels too compressed, feel free to separate the knees out to the wide edges of the mat, let the head, the neck, the shoulders relax down. And just take a few breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, release. Inhale, fill up. Open mouth, exhale, release. One more deep breath in, fill it all up. Open mouth, exhale, let it all go. Hips staying pressed back. Take the left arm and gently thread the needle under the right, resting on the left side of the face. Keeping the right hand gently connected to the ground, the earth, and just feel that supportedness underneath you. Continue the breath in the twist. Inhale here. Smooth exhale out. Allow the left arm to reach up. And then thread the needle, taking the right arm under the left, resting on the right side of the face. And just breathe. The left hand connects to the earth. And breathe in the twist. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release it out completely. Gentle pressure in the left palm. Coming back, child's pose. Reverse namaste, the hands bent at the elbows, the palms touch overhead. Set your intention here. I am peace. I am enough. I am worthy. We'll seal our intention with breath. Inhale through the nose. Strong, solid, smooth exhale. Gently planting the palms and lifting up hands and knees tabletop. Moving through a little bit of cow and cat. Inhale, cow pose, drop the belly. Lift the gaze up towards the ceiling. Exhale, curl it into cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more round. Inhale, cow. 
exhale cat. Neutral spine, palms are gently going to plant, curl the toes under, send the hips up and back, your first downward facing dog, pedal the feet, allow some movement to come in the dog, shake the head, open and close the jaw, bend your knees as much as you need, gentle gaze forward, tiptoe forward, bend, Wrap your opposite elbows, hang in a rag doll. Release the weight of the world off of your shoulders. Feel free to rock side to side. Release tension in the head, the jaw. If you want a heart opener and that feels comfortable in the body, you can take the hands and place them at the low back. Or you can even interlace them rinse them overhead. Just breathing with the head down below the heart. If you took the bind, gently release. Inhale, halfway lift the spine, flat back. Really exhale it all out, let it go. Two more rounds of that. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let it go, release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Plant the palms. Step it back. And then melt the knees back down to the earth. Taking the left arm and threading it once again under the right. The hips are going to stay high here. The right hand can reach forward. Just breathe in the twist. And on your exhale, really release tension, release stress, release anxiety. One more deep breath in. Exhale, release it all, let it go. Gentle pressure in the right hand. Coming back up to switch sides. The right hand's gonna thread this time under the left. Thread the needle. Left arm goes forward, hips are high. And just breathe, release, let go. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, breathe it in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. One more time. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, let go. Allow the left hand to plant. Coming back up. And sinking it down into hero's pose, sending the hips back towards the heels. And if this is too much on the legs, you can stay lifted up with the hips high. The left hand's gonna come to the heart and the right hand's gonna come over the left. Just take a few rounds of breath here. Feel your heart beating in your chest. Feel the breath in your lungs. If you have anything weighing on your heart or weighing on your mind, simply notice that. What you're feeling is completely okay. It's okay to not be okay. And it's okay to ask for help. Know that you are enough. You are worthy. You're exactly where you need to be, even if it's not where you want to be. You are enough. And you're worthy of this life. 
breathe that all in. Open mouth, exhale, let that all go. Release that stress, that tension. Release that weight. If the eyes have closed, gently flutter them open. Shift the hips off to one side. And you're gonna swing the legs out in front of you. Bring a gentle bend to the knees, grant yourself some grace. Inhale, lift the heart. And then you're gonna reach forward towards the toes. Maybe the hands fall on the shins, maybe they come to the ankles, maybe you're able to grab the feet, the toes. If you need more of a bend, feel free to bend and hinge at the hips. Imagine your heart shining, lifting forward. And then exhale, sink a little deeper. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink. One more time. Inhale, lift up out of the fold. Exhale, sink deeply into it. Gently allow the hands to walk you up. Sending the hips forward if you can leave a little bit more space, coming all the way down to the back. Hug the knees into the chest, rock side to side. And setting up for final rest, you have a few options here. You can take the traditional Shavasana, taking up space, allowing the arms and the legs to go long. If you want to work into the hip space, you can take Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet come together to touch. The hands can lay to the sides, or you can even place your left hand on your heart and your right hand on your belly, just opening you up. And really focus on that exhale, focus on that release. Let it go. Release tension. Release stress. Release anxiety. Let it go. Stay here for as long as you need. Releasing anything that is no longer serving you. If you're in Supta Baddha Konasana, the hands will come glide the knees back together. If you're in Shavasana, finding some movements, you can bend the knees, circle through the wrists, gently shift side to side. And then gently allow both knees to fall to the right. And you're gonna come into a fetal pose, resting on the right arm. Left arm connects to the earth. Just pause here for a second with that hand connected to the earth. Feel that support. Feel the groundedness. What this posture represents is rebirth, coming back into your life, starting again, a little lighter, and a little more yourself. We rise up with the inhale, lift to a seated position, crossing at the ankles, Hands are going to come to heart center. Gently bow your head to your hands. Just for a breath of appreciation for the practice. For your beautiful life. For yourself. We'll seal this practice with one community breath. Breathe it in. Allow it to be the biggest breath of the day. Exhale it out. Release. Let it go. 
thumbs float to the third eye, that space between your eyebrows. May the moments of your life be filled with peace, joy, and love. We bow to each other to the practice. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this little class was some relief for you if you're going through any anxiety or anything a little bit heavy currently. If there's anything that we can do, again, to offer support, please reach out to us at the Counseling Center. We're always here for you if you need some help, if you need someone to talk to. Know that you're not alone and it's truly okay to not be okay. We really appreciate you being here and we're hoping you're well and you're healthy. And until next time, thank you.